What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Fox. Y'all hear that? Sounds like a leak. Yep. I am draining the radiator because I got something else I got to do in preparation for Ponies and the Smokies 2020. It is canceled. Fine. And that is changing out the water pump gasket and the timing chain cover gasket. Both of those things are uh, leaking, not leaking bad, but leaking enough to be aggravating. And y'all know how much an aggravating leak is. I mean, whenever you leave a spot, you got a little puddle sitting there after you drive off, and you know, it, it's just aggravating. But this is what I got. I don't know if you can see it, but right, but right down there, you might be able to see like a little puddle going on down over there. But yeah, it's leaking right there, the timing chain cover. And of course, since I'm pulling everything off, I'm gonna change the, um, the water pump uh, gasket also. Cause it's been changed maybe about a year or so ago, but I know it's gonna be probably all right, but I'm gonna change it out anyway since I'm tearing it all apart. But yeah, we gotta change that, that gasket out. And as I showed you, we are draining it right now. And we're going to try to drain it safely and dispose of the fluid properly. But that's what we got going on now. And like I said, it's all in preparation for Ponies in the Smokies 2020. It's not happening because it's canceled. What? I'm try to go up there without the car leaking. Um, uh, yeah, I guess uh, we'll get started on the teardown of this bad boy and uh, hopefully this only takes, uh, I know professionals and stuff, they'll probably have this knocked out in about, eh, probably about three, four, five hours maybe. But me, it's gonna probably take me about three days. Wrong, wrong. <laughs> because I still have to go to work and um, I don't have a whole lot of a lot of time each day to work on my car, so it's gonna probably be over a couple of days. But anyhow, we're gonna get started. Also, one other thing before I get started, I've hit another milestone, 300 subscribers, and I just want to say I appreciate each and every one of y'all. You know, I'm a little small channel, just trying to do something uh, that I'm passionate about in the sense of I love my fox. You know, I love um, going to car shows, the car meets, um, just driving around in general. You know, uh, it's a fun car to drive and y'all are what keep me going you know and i know when this video comes out i haven't put anything out in like three weeks because i'm still dealing with the transmission issue but i think i found the problem out a friend of mine is going to help me uh drop the transmission back out again and um change out uh i think some of the shimming I think is uh, that is dealing with, but I'll I'll talk to y'all about that in the next video because um, this video is actually going to come out probably before that one does, and um, yeah, I got I'm, I'm all I'm bouncing around between two different things going on with the car, so y'all just bear with me. And I, once again, I appreciate each and every one of y'all for subscribing, checking out all my videos and stuff like that and helping out the little guy. So, once again, thanks. Well, the radiator's drained for the most part. Probably gotta pull a little, uh, probably gotta let, let a little more out. But now, I guess we'll start, take the belt off and start from there. You know, there was somebody that took the tensioner off to give them more space. I think I'm gonna try that too. Uh, 
right, back home after work. Not really sure the last thing I told you, but this is where we at now. Uh, everything's off. Now we gotta take off the um, harmonic balancer. More than likely, I'm probably gonna take the um, alternator off and the the bracket for it, cause uh, I'm probably gonna paint it since I got everything all tore down. Just to help the underhood look a little bit better, I'm gonna paint all of that and um, see where we go from there. Uh, there's a lot more stuff that needs to be taken off, like the the intake and the uh, valve covers and stuff like that. But uh, eventually, we'll get to all of that. All right, we're picking this up. Uh, I think two days later, something like that. But I couldn't find a tool to hold the harmonic balancer still while I took it off, so had to make one of my own. Yeah, I uh, had to drill a hole, kind of shave it down in the middle, then drill another hole. It took a little bit of trial and error, but I got it made, and I've started taking the um, I've started taking the harmonic balancer off. I almost forgot to cut the camera on, at least to film a little bit of it. All right, here we go. As you can see, I'll turn on some light here. You see it sliding out. I'm gonna put y'all down for a minute so I can pull this thing out without dropping it and messing up anything else. Remember um, a while back I talked about vibration that I was getting at about, uh, I think it was 70, 75, 80, right up in there somewhere. I think I might've found the problem. Harmonic balancer. Oh, see the little rubber right here that uh, helps buffer the vibrations. It is deteriorating and it's about gone. New harmonic balancer in my future. Yeah, I think that right there might be the cause of all the vibration I was getting. So, uh, hopefully that takes care of that. I gotta find out, uh, I guess, the size of this one and where I can get me another one at a decent price. Uh, so, that's where it right now. Get back, get back with y'all in a few. This is the gasket kit that I got for it. See all the, all the goodies. You might not be able to see that, but this is the gasket kit I got, part number. We're gonna see what's inside. That's it. Ah, black RTV silicone. And various gaskets, I guess, uh, according to what application you got, which gasket you're going to be using, or which water pump, either the um, the OEM or the high flow. I got a high flow in mine, and the time and chain cover gasket. Yeah, from what I was told, these are some good gaskets, and of course, the uh, temp gauge. I think that's a temp gauge gasket. And the two corner gaskets for the uh, top of the oil pan, top front, top front of the oil pan. And I gotta find out what this is exactly. Uh, by the time y'all see this, it'll probably be right up in the corner what this is. And of course the the front main seal. And change that out. And that front another portion of the uh, front gasket for the oil pan. Yeah, not a bad kit. I'm gonna get everything cleaned up, and uh, I'll probably show a little bit of me cleaning the the parts and the prep work and the paint of the ones that I'm going to actually paint. We'll take it from there. It's cleaning time. These are the parts that I'm going to clean if I haven't showed them to you already, which I think I did. Nope. Uh, I'm going to clean all these up and put a coat of paint on them, I guess, and make them look a little better. Either nothing, nothing wild, either black or gray. 
That's about it. Yeah, maybe they just help the engine bay look clean. We're gonna finally get ready to try to paint some of this stuff. And what I got is, is that hammered silver. We're gonna, we're gonna paint the uh, tensioner and see how and see how that turns out. That's a good looking color. So far. Want me to show you how to cheat on a quick paint job? This is how you do it. Just mask off what you're gonna paint. But it's got that uh, textured kind of paint on it. Like I was saying, it's that uh, hammered silver. Parts are all uh, painted up. Uh, and actually, I don't think that's too bad of a job. Damn! Yeah, that's that uh, hammered silver. Of course, only painted just the top portion of the uh, time and chain cover. But yep. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna test uh, a little bit of this matte finish clear coat and see if that'll help maybe protect it from uh, chipping and uh, stuff oil and stuff getting on it. Maybe that'll help keep the keep the paint uh, safe for a little while. Well, UPS ran today, and I got the the things that I need the timing chain, um, harmonic balancer, and new shifter. So let's do an unboxing of that while we're at it. Oh yeah, <laughs> and I got some, uh, some uh, lug nuts also. All these are 19 millimeter, and the head of them is a little smaller so they can fit inside of the um, the Celine replica wheels I got because it is a tight fit in there and these help. All right. Next box. Is the comp cam timing set. Oh yeah. That's nice. That's nice right there. Yep, this is my harmonic balancer. Yep, as I had mentioned, the other one I had, this rubber piece all around here was a little chewed on. And this one actually ain't gonna look even, but it's all there. Yeah, that's a good one. And it's a uh, Ford Performance Harmonic Balancer. This one's got to be my shifter. It's the only thing that's left. <laughs> and this is a Steeda Triax shifter. I had uh, somebody, I can't remember which video it was, but I had somebody commented on my uh, my little aftermarket economy ship that I got from uh, LMR. It's just the economy one. It was better than the one that I had in there because it was old. But they made a comment, I need to get rid of that foreign shifter and get me a American made Steeda shifter. They didn't say Steeda shifter, but they said a different shifter. But this one right here is the one I chose. I was gonna go between this one and the um, uh, Pro 5 And ultimately, of course, I chose this one. And oh yeah, um, if you're the one that asked me to get rid of that old shifter, comment down below, tell me who you are, because I did uh, listen and yeah, I need to go ahead and get me another shifter because this new or rebuilt transmission or whatever, eh, I might as well get another shifter to go on there with it. That is a lot better quality. And of course, it's a short throw. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. Let's jam up right there. 
That looks a lot more solid than the other one that I had. And that's the part number right there, I believe, for this one. But yeah, this right here seems a lot more solid because the other one I had, it was, it was a little rinky dink. But that's the unboxing of everything. Yep, shifter, harmonic balancer, and new timing chain. So we're gonna get up, uh, we can get all set up and possibly start breaking this thing down tonight. Because you see, I still have the timing chain still on that one. But I gotta take it off and um, get this thing cleaned up and get this new one put on. So let me come back to you in a little bit.